Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Pick a Piece of Gaming, and today we are back with another campaign. Um, I decided to do two at once because um, I wanted a bit more, you know, uh, diversity with uh, these factions. That was completely misspoken. Uh, I don't know why I said diversity, but you know what I mean. I wanted different campaigns going at, um, at once. I, I just didn't want to stick with one campaign because it gets rather tedious and repetitive. Um, yeah, so I decided to do two campaigns at once. I did just purchase the Longbeards DLC. I got it for £4 on G2A.com. Uh, it's in the description. Um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I just get cheap games from there. Um, but yeah, today we're, might, we'll, we'll definitely do the Langor Bards uh, campaign, as they've got really strong infantry. Uh, the two other factions are the Alamans, which I don't know what their um, overall power is, are. Uh, they're good against Romans, by looks things. And then the Burgundians. But I want to stick with the Langbards. A couple of things that needs to be said. Last episode, when we had, when we played as the Jutes, um, I didn't actually save the ending. Um, I accidentally exited the game. Uh, uh, prematurely, I'll explain more in the episode, but that means we can still hold a uh, Londinium. I mean, not Londinium, I think it was the turn above it, wasn't it? Um, because what I've done, I've uh, recruited some mercenaries and we might not just, I think they might like leave us alone. Because we, we, we outnumber them. A um, couple of other things. Um, thanks to Wolverine for giving me such good advice on that campaign. Um, hopefully, we can hold England. Um, but the plans for that campaign is we need to arrange a marriage with the Geats. I've got all this written down. We need to ally ourselves with the um, Varanians, is it? My hand might really bad. And when we get, well, if we ever do get down to Greece, we have to liberate the Macedonians. If they're not already in the game. But anyway, we're talking about the Langbards, or faction, or whatever. Um, I'm going to skip the beginning bit, uh, the intro, because that is on every single faction. Or barbaric faction, so there's not much point in me even going over it again. If you want to see it, you can pretty much just YouTube it. And I've just realised I've written that stuff on the back of my CV. Now mind. <coughs> I'm skipping that. Oh, the advisor doesn't have a voice because I was making jewels earlier. I need to disable it. Let's give the advisor a voice. Um, okay, so this is our starting army. Uh, I've never actually played this before, or never even started this campaign at any point. So we start obviously start here. Uh, we have a small army to the, the southeast. Um, Technology-wise, I'm going to focus on military because I know these guys are strongest uh, in melee. So I'm just going to go ahead and start that. Taxes. I think we can boost one level up with this. There we can. We can not one level up. Get some extra cash. Um, let's have a look at some of these buildings. I'm just thinking. I will upgrade our village to start off with. Um, oh wow. These portraits look pretty cool. Um, what are we thinking? Should we have a look who hates us? Because there's always someone who dislikes you straight away. In fact, let's get the trade greenwoods going first. In fact, no, we better find it who we're going to fight, or else I'd have to wait for the treaty to like, disappear. Um, we need to go on to this. Oh, well, we're, we're liked by most people. If not everyone. So this is mixed. It's paganism and Christianity up here. It's pag Germanic paganism. I really want to go. I really want to invade places that have Germanic paganism, so that it's not too much of a strain to convert. Because if our uh, if our faction if we invade Christian places too quick, we're obviously going to become Christian fast. And I don't really want to become Christian. I want to stick to German paganism. Because I think our edicts benefit it in some way. Uh, yeah. 
So I might just attack the Saxons straight off the bat. I mean, Ready for battle. we don't really have any outstanding trees. Let me just move this to the edge of the border so I can Your see who's command? in here. Is, is that in our province? No, it's not. I'd rather take the province we're in, though, at the second. Uh. We just get the map up and have a look at the religions. We're all Christian slash Germanic. Well, I guess I should just take this province then. And just have it. Uh, yeah, just take the province we're in. Everyone else will um, we'll get trade agreements with if we can. I welcome you, worthy speaker. I, I don't even know what I just accepted to there. What I just accepted. Wisdom, and my people will greet your acceptance with arms outstretched. Did I just pay him something there? I think I did. Oh, we had a non-aggression pack. Can you trade with me now? What a dick. Whatever, we got a non-aggression pack. That's not the worst thing in the world. Don't want to trade with them. Oh, wait. Yeah, we, we'll trade with them. You are welcome. All Can't really trade with the Franks at the minute. Can't really trade with these guys at the minute. So we'll leave them. Um, just thinking. Which one should we attack first? Ready for orders. Get moving, you wretches. Should we just force take it? We'll take it really quick. When your feet bleed, you can moan. I'm gonna uh, decrease taxes again. He can't be the governor, so we'll choose this guy. My son is 15. Oh, he's almost of age. We'll try and keep my son alive. He'll uh, have a small command when he comes to age. I'm not going to really uh, get him killed. But we'll take the re that region first because it's got... Uh, I don't know what resource that is, but it looks <laughs> valuable. <laughs> oh, they've recruited units. Oh, that's not good. Ancestors have spoken. Yeah, I do not mind and having an aggression part. As true friends, do we dare ignore the other? Are we trading world? with them in a minute? I can't remember if it was them that agreed to trade with us. Yeah, they're trading with us, aren't they? Sure thing. Um, I don't mind having an aggression pact. I want to attack them. Um. Okay. Let's take these guys out of force march as well as these. Warriors all. For the tribe. Starting out. Ready for orders. Let's pull him back, and this guy will advance. I don't believe they have any allies, yeah, so it's not like much of a difference to me. <clears throat> uh, I will wait them out. Uh, that really does. I really am like not bothered at all by waiting them out. So we'll get some. Whatever. I'm gonna be a while anyway, so we I'm just gonna wait them out. They don't have any allies, so I can't see any support. Um, can't see them gaining any support. They'll have to come out and get me, and by that point I'll have the advantage because they won't be able to sit on the walls and attack me. So we'll keep ending our turn until turn 8. <coughs> Hopefully the... <coughs> I don't know what they're called to the east. Hopefully they're not attack. That'll be a bad thing. I'm chewing on a lid, by the way, if anybody can hear that weird... Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. 
I'm glad we don't we don't take attrition on this uh oh, well on Attila from besieging. I never really understood that. They should be taking attrition if anything, because I've got the city surrounded. And there's no actual way here. They could be getting supplies. Well, from the south they probably could. Because there's a gate there. Uh, okay, everyone's a bit upset in this region, much too shall I? Go ahead and end. We'll save up our money. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Alright, we'll wait, we'll uh, we'll raise a small force here. I know the Vandals are at war with these guys, so they're not going to come and help. And if they attack me, they want assist, so it doesn't really matter. And I'll end up just killing the Vandal King. They can come and raid me all day. That really does not matter to me. Alright, we are suffering from a, um, a light attrition. We should possibly get some food. We don't really have any buildings that allow us to gain food. Our army in this region won't take attrition, I don't think. It's just this one that will. Where's a small army to go and deal with that vandal thing down there? He's not causing too much trouble. He's taking quite a bit of money, but we should be fine. Oh, he's cleared off now. Winter is always harsh in this game when it comes to food. They've kind of taken that thing out of Wrath of Sparta DLC, where as soon as winter hits, boom, all your food's gone. Which is a good thing to be fair, because not much food would grow in the winter, would it? So you have to really stack up your coffers. <laughs> and the splendid courts of a young warrior. His heart yearns for the wilds team in Great Trials of Man Rapture. Oh, is this my son? So he wants to go and do stuff. So we're giving him a sword here. Yeah? I'll give him a sword. No, it's not. Ill Rich is my son. Who the hell is Yoiba? I don't know. I'll just give him a sword anyway. Uh, can we swap this guy out? Decimate. <laughs> Why do we have that option? Uh, how long have these guys got left? Attack! We could probably take it, you know. Let them cower before us. Okay, let's not recruit these guys. Let's undo that. I only really made those guys so then they'd stop her raiding. Uh we're coming into spring now, so food should start it's getting better. Nothing much I can do about it, though, that's the thing. Might have to get rid of this. I'd have to get rid of that purely on the basis so I can, uh, 
build some food building. It's going to be a pain, but once we take this next town, we should be a fine. No, this is going to be a long episode. I just feel it. <laughs> you can feel it. Okay. Still taking nutrition. <laughs> People are going to get really annoyed. Oh, who do we save? The poet or the priestess? So guys, I'm not going to read this out because like, I, I just started the energy. So if you want to pause the video and read it out and then... Uh, I'm probably going to save... Oof, the priestess. I love this sort of little minigame. I don't know if other factions have it. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's, uh, let's build something that will give us a lot of food. There you go, two turns in this whole thing with no food will be finished. Let's start getting some civil. Uh, as it goes for this town, do we have any... Let's go for it. We'll fight him on the battle field. Um, <laughs> I have bumped my uh, graphics settings up to like borderline extreme, so if there's like <laughs> any lag, I forgot to turn it off. So they're pretty much on extreme settings. And I'm not going to turn it off in the middle of a video. Wish we have the infantry advantage. I don't know how we could lose this. I don't know why the uh, thing was so bad. I think it was just because it was siege. They generally favour them. Oh, wait, they're going to have those towers, aren't they? Oh, oh, I didn't think about towers. Hopefully the towers are wooden. If the towers are wooden, my archers could deal with them. If the towers are not wooden, I'm screwed. If they've got no towers at the front gate, yeah, I'm going to try and hack them down because I want to see what the uh, animations for it are like. Oh, I might send that one cavalry unit I have round the side on its own. So we can hack the gates down. I mean, there's a little bit here, this little portion bit here, we can just run up. So I don't think there was any need for siege towers unless we were coming down here these ways. Looks like they're looks like they're on a hill. Uh, so we'll wait. I'm not fighting in the rain. Please don't make me fight in the rain. Oh God. Cheap to maintain and speedy okay. in their terrible work. Raiders can be used to set fire to a besieged settlement. However, they must be closely watched as they are impetuous and unruly and may act without orders. I don't have burning I don't a have settlement readers. affects its defenders' morale. Therefore the more it burns, the less likely they are to carry on the fight. Okay. I don't have that. Alright, so you can see it's been besieged quite a bit. I mean deploying on this side may be the best bet. Yeah, they've got wooden towers, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um I'm thinking of just putting my cavalry unit here. No, no, I think we'll besiege it here. We'll, uh, well, yeah, we'll definitely besiege it here. Ready. Okay, these guys are on the towers, so that's, like, so that's alright, I guess. We'll kill them all. These towers are pretty cool. Let's get everyone ready, though, first. Let's have a look at these units here. I've never actually really seen them before. They look pretty cool. 
Um, spears. I don't know what they are. What are these? They're not even have swords, do they? No, they don't. They got some weird shaped swords. I need to stop looking at this because we're going to go way over half an hour recording time, and I don't want to do that. This guy's here. Brigands can come to the side. General can stand in front of his men. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. No, I said I wanted these to knock down the gate that isn't defended by towers. This wouldn't be a bad place to start. Joe, we'll, we'll put him down here. See if anyone tries to stop him. This is interesting to see. Let's have them disband. I mean, dis dismount. On me! The enemy approaches. So what they do? We fight for our families, my brothers. We fight with honor. Uh, are they going to do anything? Don't lose your head. Are they going to try and attempt to break in? Or not? Ah, oh, went back up then. Just not sure why that's not working. Just taking some fire damage or what? Oh, look at those fire arrows, guys. Whoa. We should hurry up. Yeah, they're gonna go around. They're gonna go all the way around. And oh, whatever. It's just. Yeah. No, I don't think anyone's guarding it anyway. Oh, that tower is. <sighs> Honestly, it's not worth uh, losing a cavalry unit over. Yeah, we're not taking out many losses. You'd think the thing would be set ablaze by now, wouldn't you? There's the skirmishers. They're getting hit as well. Okay, that's done. Watch this now, this tower's gonna collapse in some time. We just need to keep hitting this one. Watch, it'll collapse on top of these guys, hopefully. Or these guys. Oh. The enemy tower is no more than wreckage now. Okay, these guys, I'm going to pull these guys back because the... I really want to like save uh, these units that can be replenished later on. Um, I'm gonna buff them. Just so they don't flee. Cavalry's going to be a bit uh, knackered by the time it gets back, but we're not going to be really using it this fight. I was hoping we'd just be able to hack down the gate, but clearly it wouldn't work. I'm not sure why it wouldn't work. But they wanted to go around instead. Deadly missiles ready. And this one's taking heavy losses as well now, we need to hurry up. Got it. That's, that's burning. 
So, uh, let's get these guys. Right, how about we take this guy off? Put this guy on. We have destroyed the enemy tower. They've got another tower, though. Ugh. This one's gonna be hard to take, so we'll have to storm the left side of it. Let's so, so speed this up. This is taking them a while to get in. Alright, they're all in. Let's have the rest of the infantry advance. I know they've got cavalry, so the, the uh, spearmen will go in first. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm going to send in this light infantry at all. Not much point. Let's have to cover, cover the flanks. Speed up the process a bit. I really don't understand why this didn't work this get here. That was really annoying. This reminds me of the uh, Lord of the Rings film where they had uh, the orcs when they were besieging Gondor. They had, they had like similar towers to these. They were really cool. Nobody under that tower is just going to run over now. Look at all those casualties already. That was two towers doing that. Two towers killed just over. Just over 200 men. No, 120 men, would say. 140 men. My maths is really bad. We are less warriors! Shift that siege Move tower! That tower! I really don't want to get close to that. Because I know that's going to hit us from all the way over there. I don't see the range of it. Oh my god, it can hit us. I think that can just that can hit these two towers. I'm going to cancel their movement. That tower range is so broken. Look at it. I'll show you it in proper detail now. Can you see those red lines over there? I think you just about hit that tower as well. Warriors. That one could stay on. This unit's going to have to come over here. That unit will have to try and fit in there. Run the rest of the men up. We're treating off the walls, weird. He's firing there. Don't. <laughs> Hitting our own guys in the back there, see?
We're getting overwhelmed already. Get him up there, get him up there, get him up there, go, go, go. <clears throat> See, the towers are hitting us from all the way over there. That's complete utter crap. If we could take the gate, everybody else would be able to get in easily. Like, can we not fire on our own guys? That would be brilliant. I don't know where they're going. We've pretty much got the gatehouse now. Raising the banner. General in. Yeah, okay, 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 so I was getting. We on the gate house now. Let's not push them up too quickly. You can get the cavalry up here for definite. Really, we really need to do is capture that tower. In fact, no, I thought let's just uh, we'll have these guards for guys form a real a rear guard. Should just be able to push our way through this gate, yeah. They don't last long, these defences. Push, 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 push. Is this a general? I think it's a general. Okay, they may have uh, buffed it. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to stop all these men. Look at them all. Oh my god. <laughs> and there's more. Okay, we're still fighting down here. It's just mopping up down here. I, I prefer it if everybody ran back like down here. Except for you guys, you're going to stay outside. 
need everyone to be away from the cavalry could deal with the slingers and stuff. They were just plain annoying. Uh, yeah, we pretty much brought this down. Oh, he's got, he's got murked. Oh, and so did he. Oh, oh, the killing animations. Okay, these guys, because they've got nothing to do, just take the tower, because it's... I want to say it's wrecking our cavalry, but it's been a nuisance. Still got a lot of units outside that could be used. I know it's been a like, sloppy battle. I'm just trying to force all of our soldiers up there at this point. Where's the civvies anyway? Enemy units have returned to the battle. I think they just ran off, haven't they? Okay, go, go, go. Just take the tower. It'd be easy for everyone if they just took it. What's the morale? Okay, next. This this hill is going to be hard to fight uh, fight for. Just look how steep it is. And we're all pretty exhausted, yeah. Their tower has fallen. Good news. So if we uh, start pushing through here with this uh, section, we could be. I think it lowers the morale the more we take. Swift horseman. Ready. Can you not? Any of that try and run out of here, we could. Uh, set upon them just to break the numbers a bit more we can get these guys at the back up here this is going to cost us some casualties running them up this hill like this It's only a scam gym up though. Right. The other unit's gonna come up here, so let's just follow this now. There's nothing much we can really do. Again, we're going to take a lot of casualties taking this hill. I understand that. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. They will. They'll, they'll lose. Our reinforcements are coming up now. Just keep pushing it. A victory point is almost within our grasp. Kill the general, kill the general, that's who you need to go for. Yeah, general's been killed, I think. Victory! This is your day. We pretty much won it. Whatever, we're going to stop taking casualties now. Right, so we've done it. Season Besiege, haven't I already got that? Well, that was a long battle, so this is obviously going to be a long episode. Probably about 40 minutes. Um, yeah, that was a tough tough one. That was a tough battle. 
Took a lot of casualties, obviously. We didn't do too bad, though, considering we were besieging them. Okay then, we've taken that turn. Um, no, we're going to occupy. So we've destroyed the elements. Um, so we've got all these buildings repaired. This is going to come very useful. Um, so guys, that's the end of the episode. Um, next episode, we should have sorted this uh, hunger problem out because of the buildings we've just received. Yeah, hunger would be definitely have been a thing of the past. Um, yeah, so if you've liked the episode and you want to give it a thumbs up, then please do so. If you have any uh, advice uh, which way we should go for a campaign, remember you are involved just as much as I am, then write in the comment section. If uh, you want to see more of this, don't forget to subscribe button so it will appear on your subscription box. And I've been Pinky PC Gaming, and goodbye.